hello guys welcome to another tutorial I just wanna say I apologize that it's been a while since I have uploaded another video but since um, I have stated a few times that I get really really busy uh, from time to time but again I'm, I'm still trying to upload them all and um, whenever I get time but first of all I want to uh, say thanks to everyone we made it to a thousand views. I didn't even expect that. I know um, it's been a while. It's been a few months since uh, December, but still. And we're up to 41 uh, subscribers, which is, I think it's pretty amazing. It's such a niche um, a place that, um, that I've been focusing on when it comes to the actual uh, Pokeballs, but again, bear with me. We're gonna be doing some pretty cool things. All right. So today we're gonna be creating the. We're gonna be creating the master. Uh, Pokeball. And um, this one has its own uh, challenges with the Pokeball that we already have. Um, but again. Um, we're gonna do our best and um, again we're gonna do some modeling uh, but it's not gonna be it's gonna look good not the best model but it's okay since we're not gonna do any distortions to the top of the sphere and it's not gonna be animated like the top moving or anything like that it just has to look good all right Okay, so first of all, we have our Pokeball here and let's hide it for now. Let me just put my um, mic down, perfect. Um, and I don't have a camera and we're gonna create that. So go to your um, shoot day. Uh, let me enable my keys. Awesome. Perfect. All right. And um, let's put them to hiding. Shift date. Camera. Right now it was set to the view. The win. So we can set that up, but I'm just gonna go. Top to bottom, today, do it again, and perfect. Then after that, we're gonna create a sphere. Awesome, that is great. And you might be asking yourself, why did I decide to create a sphere in a camera? I'll show you right now. So, control, uh, G, press Z, move it up. Click on the sphere, click on the camera, control P. Awesome. Press zero. And let me actually move it up a bit. sphere down and then let's go back to the camera awesome I think that is good for now we can shrink the sphere and uh, press N view lock and then enable your pokeball again okay let's click on wireframe Save all your modifier and cool, awesome. I'm moving my camera that is locked to my view, and then as you can see, so I'm moving in and out. And what's happening is that this is what's happening, so then I can. Um, 
easily place the pokeball exactly how the ball on the top exactly how i want to all right so let's make a couple of modifications now that we're here uh, set it to local let's just reduce the height a bit and the size Then after that, you just have to um, kind of see where you put in it. And one of the thing that we're aiming is not is kind of getting it um, in the middle instead of leaving uh, such a big space. It's a bit hard to see, but. I'm sure there's another method, but I just found this way when I was messing around to be quite uh, interesting. Take some playing around. I hope you, everyone is doing well um, during these hard times the world it's kind of crazy nowadays okay i don't think i need the camera anymore so Right, and we're gonna go about there. We can have any we can't have any edges like this, like I said before. Okay, looks awesome. Again, not not the most cleaner, uh, not the most um, clean mesh, but it'll work. Let's tap, and I'm gonna do a couple of loop cuts. One here. It's gonna come in handy later on. For this method, um, it's better if we have it um, kind of oh, um, this area is uh, equal as much as possible.
okay I think that works and then I'm gonna do another loop cut right here these are gonna become handy later on alright so if you have the add-on I think it's like uh, extra tools I think or something like that but anyways um, click on your sphere shift click and then let's do yeah uh, control plus awesome I think that looks good apply all right we can get rid of this we're gonna get rid of half because we're gonna mirror it that looks great but before continuing let's test actually move your mirror up all right and let's test how this looks awesome that is really good better than expected actually I tried it a few times and this is the best result that is really good uh, if you're getting some artifacts go into your um, object data properties and normals and press auto smooth perfect then uh, let's go back get on faces and select the top faces okay control plus and let's take it up to there don't select the last road because that is gonna bleed we're doing the selection to add the color your color is gonna bleed if you add this ones and I'm gonna show you how to resolve that okay when it's hub divided it's gonna bleed into this into this area okay so go into your materials add a new one And okay, let's name it top sphere or um, yeah, sphere. Okay, assign, change the color. The color that we're going to be using is. That I'm gonna be using is FF three F B six. Excellent. And then for the red, let's change it to five five two one DF. Awesome. Let's decrease the roughness. That looks great. Now, as you can see, it's not touching the bottom, and we have a bit of um, artifacts. So, a solution kind of for this is going to your um, edge mode. I don't know why my alt is not not working I don't know if that was a change or or what anyways selection edge loop oh, we're gonna do that to this one and to 
Okay, so I shall do as well both of them. Okay, and then do a edge slide. And slide it as close as possible. That is great. Then do the same thing to the other one. Awesome. Now it's right on the edge. We are getting some artifacts because um, the end of the edge is probably a little bit too close, but Anyways, I'm going to be reducing the roughness or increasing the roughness on this area anyways. And that is going to um, relieve that. Okay, and we can play around also with... Can I miss a bit? Awesome. All right. That looks great. We're pretty much done. Let's go and we need the M. So go into your UV editing. All right. And actually before that, let's add the mirror. Okay. Let's deselect our modifier and go back to our UV editing. Perfect. So, what we're gonna do is instead of selecting all the faces, we're gonna be selecting a few. A few faces. I'm holding control by the way. Alright, so after we have our faces selected. Okay, looks good. Go to UV and wrap. And we're gonna get this section right here. Perfect. Now select your island, your whole island, and R and then 90. Okay, let's move it. Increase it. Awesome. Then select invert and let's select everything else. And oops. S shrink and G to move. And we're gonna put it in the corner. Awesome. Alright, select everything and we got that. That looks great. Now, go into your images, create, um, if you haven't created um, a new image, you can create it here. I did create one already, and I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So open my M image, and that is how it looks. That is how it looks like. All right, looks good. Perfect. It's not showing yet just yet, but I'm about to show you guys what I did and which font did I use. So here I use the so I say M and right now it has a stroke. Alright, so I'm using which is pretty similar to the one that they used. But it's uh, this one is a bit thicker, and uh, is 
Laetus Pro, that's how I think it's pronounced. And then I added um, the bolt version, it's a bit too bold, so I added like a stroke around it and edit it. So as you can see. Okay, then I exported that as a uh, PNG. Great. So now that we have that, let's um, add it here and then we can control how big we want it. Go into shading. Okay. Control T. Oops. Control T. All right. G to move. Select the M. Perfect. Uh, disconnect for now. Uh, shift A. We're going to convert color ramp. And then for the white, drag this color in here. Yeah. And then. Uh, for the black actually same thing change the color to white doesn't really matter you can switch them around all right just connect to here and then here awesome the m is kind of small we're gonna increase the size by decreasing our uv line line it up I think that looks great. Awesome. Okay, now let's move to the side. And it's pretty much done by now. So if you're gonna continue washing, uh, you can. I'm just gonna do a few tweaks. And that would be actually connecting i'm gonna make the m brighter i just want it to be like really bright okay there and then shift a color convert yeah awesome not only that but um i want it to feel a bit of an edge so I'm gonna do convert <coughs> no uh, vector bump connect to the normal height here awesome let's decrease the strength a little bit and there you have it we have here the uh, master Pokeball. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.